No be smart, you know. What that shall never end, oh, my people. Hey, Tinubu don't enter on other part to be gay. This on a double wahala, my people. Table leg don't break, oh. They don't finally come give Tinubu water, water. This one, they come give Tinubu this time around, eh. I'm not sure, say, Tinubu go fi escape this one, no. Even court, they talk, say, ah, the place where we say they go pass, come outside, oh. In short, even the sea. CJNO, my people, no be smart, you know. My people, I go like, make you like go watch video. Make you like, yeah. How Tinubuche receive bath balls from left and right. Even the chief, uh, chief judge of Nigeria, what they call, and he will not talk, say, ah, so matter passed like this, you know, no before, in T say, uh, Tinubu, no meet up for the 25% of MCT. No, no, he say, the main matter go cover side after court don't make decision. My people, the main matter don't come aside. No. Matter don't land for Ari Wola table. No be smart, you know. They could not go watch video. Ability is personal. He said he is fighting for justice. That's Atiku Abubakar. And he said the certificate that Bola Ahmed Tinubu or Bola Adekunle Tinubu submitted to INEC is forged. In that, I agree with him 100%. Because what is forgery? Forgery is the act of falsely making, imitating, or altering a document or signature with an intent to defraud. Was the document certificate he presented to INEC falsely made? Yes, they have admitted that it was made by a third party, a vendor. Was it an imitation of the original? Yes, because they want to imitate the certificate made by the Chicago State University. Does it have alterations in it? Many. The signatories are altered, the signature is altered, the logo is altered, everything about the certificate is altered. So it is clearly a case of forgery. And you know what? It is terrible that the documents that he used to purportedly gain admission into the university, he claimed he got it from the government college, Lagos, and he graduated 1970. At a time, the school was not even in existence. You know what? That makes it fake. It means that he entered the university assuming, without considering he was even there, with fake unexistent result manufactured by him and you know you cannot put something on nothing and expect it to stand that has even nullified everything about what he said about chicago state university seven okay. over zero mr is kenneth zero, not seven mr kenneth Okonko, I'm so sure I'm he said he was born in well, sorry, allow me to interrupt you a bit. I'm sure you know how the Nigerian system works. We cannot be the one to decide that the certificate is forged. At the end of the day, it will have to go to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court will be the ultimate decider. Now, my question to you is this. Some people believe that Atiku Abubakar's call for unity between PDP, the Labour Party, and the NNPP is a bit too late. This collaboration should, probably would have been more fruitful pre-election and not now that the case is already at the Supreme Court. What's your take on that? Oh, well, thank you. Like I said, it wasn't my statement that admitted that that certificate is forged. It was theirs. Because they said the release of the certificate will do irreparable damage to them. The certificate has been released and it has done irreparable damage to them. So it wasn't my own admission. Recall that Robert Clark, an octogenarian of his generation, admitted that his generation are crooks in his words. He said, we are all crooks in Nigeria. Recall that Professor Welo Shoyinka said his generation is a wasted generation. So that wasted generation of crooks are the people we are facing now. And unfortunately, Atiku Abubakar, like you rightly pointed out, who belong to that generation, is rather coming too late. He had the opportunity in 2015 to stick to his party, joining others to bring about new Nigeria. 
but he decided to destroy his own party in the name of zoning, that they ought to have zoned the party to the north. And so he joined other people to ensure that the party was zoned to the north, even if it means siding APC. And that was how Atiku joined others to enthrone Buhari that has performed worse than any other leader in Nigerian history. So the history of 2023 started from 2015. In 2023, Atiku had his constitution, PDP constitution, section 73C, which says the party shall pursue the aim and objective of adhering to the policy of rotation and zoning of party and political elective offices in pursuance of the principle of equity, justice, and fairness. A man who could not allow power to shift, who wanted to succeed his fellow Fulani Northern Muslim in the interest of injustice, cannot come to tell us to follow him in the interest of justice. So the issue is that when you want to go to equity, you go to equity with clean hands. Yes, he should tell Nigerians the truth. He is fighting to know whether he can become president. Not that he's fighting for justice, because it was his injustice in not allowing power to shift to the South that even brought the certificates forger to come and become the leader. So the issue here is very clear. Atiku Abubakar should know that after contesting presidency for six times, time has come for him to repent from being a member of a crooked, wasted generation and join the new generation in the quest for a new Nigeria, which is exemplified by Peter Gregory Obi. If Atiku had joined this force earlier now, there is no issue of APC being the president of Nigeria. So I acknowledge that he is fighting for his political life. He wants to be president. That is why he's fighting. Not that he's fighting for justice, because it is his injustice against the people of the South, against the constitution of his party that brought about the possibility of a Tinubu in the first place. So please, he's fighting for his political life. And I will advise him to join the people that are fighting for equity, justice, and fairness, which he failed to fight in PDP in 2023, so that we can have a new Nigeria. Let him just step down and join us so that we will win our case in Supreme Court, God willing. And the president, President Peter Obi, will be enthroned in Nigeria. A man of competence, character, and capacity. He all right, all right Mr. Time. Okonkwo. So stop this in, in, essence, in, in essence, as a, group, as a group, Labour is yes. not joining uh, former Vice President uh, uh, Atiku Abubakar in his quest you know, for justice regarding the certificate saga. So that's what you're confirming right now. What I'm confirming to you is that as a group, we are asking Atiku Abubakar to join us so that we can bring out a new Nigeria. Well, Mr. Okonkwo, I mean, this is a very interesting, very interesting issue. Some people in the president's inner circle are saying they believe that this issue of the certificate um, forgery saga is frivolous and is not enough reason for the court to overturn the president's victory as declared by INEC. Instead, they say Nigerians should focus on issues of development and rebuilding the economy, you know, and so on. What's your, how would you reply, you know, to, to people who say such? Is it not scandalous that we have come to a level where people are saying that when a leader is false, fake, and forged, that it is a trivial matter? So you can imagine the level of the morality quotient that we have arrived at. Well, you know, generation of vipers will give birth to scorpions and serpents, and we have to tread upon scorpions and serpents in order to move forward in this country. How can you say that a young girl called Mesoma, who passed her jam, who scored very good grades, but because she was greedy, went and got third party agents to write her own result and produce her own certificate. How can you say what she did was not trivial? 
How can you punish her for that? And then you have a leader of your country doing exactly the same thing, assuming without conceding that he attended the university. Then he wrote his own certificate. The same thing this girl did. And then some people are saying it's trivial. You know why they're saying it? Because they have destroyed their conscience and morality. Whoever ever came out on TV to make such a statement, mark my words, is not fit to hold any public office in Nigeria or anywhere in the world. Evil is evil. Criminality is criminality. Forgery is forgery. And the Supreme Court, by law, not just that they have the right to accept the evidence, they have a duty to accept it and act on it. Because by law, they say in exceptional circumstance where the evidence was not available during trial, the Supreme Court or appellate court can accept the evidence. Again, Supreme Court is a policy court. Are you saying it is now a Nigerian thing to forge? Laying credence to the allegation by the university abroad. Are you saying the Supreme Court will keep quiet and portray Nigeria to the whole world as a nation of forgers? The policy of Nigeria is that Section 137 j of the Nigerian Constitution 1999 as amended is that whoever has presented forged certificate to independent national electoral commission is disqualified from being president or holding any political office. So whoever that supports any such person is a conspirator to the crime after the fact. And that person also should be debarred from holding any public office in this country. So the Supreme Court, not only that they have the right by law, and they have done it before, they have a duty by law to ensure that a certificate forger does not become the president of Nigeria. Do you know? Go to India. He will be treated like a paria. Go to United Nations Assembly. The people that even said they will meet him on sidelines, sideline him and Mr. not meet Mr. him. Mr. Okonkwo. How do you um, want a leader? Mr. 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 Okonkwo, if, if, I may, if I may step in, Mr. Okonkwo, uh, it's, it's not proven, if I may step in, please, it's not proven that the president is a certificate forger and we will not use this platform to emphasize that. We still have to wait for the Supreme Court uh, to get judgment Good. on that. But let's, let me just, no, let me no, just, Supreme let me just land, please. If, yes, but that's what, no that's what we're saying. We're, we still haven't arrived at that decision yet. No. Let us wait for that, Mr. Okunkwo. Please, let us wait for that. So, if Mr. Right. Atiku's, uh, let me, let if me, Mr. Atiku's prayer point. is not answered, point. please, if his prayers is not answered, please, what is the way forward for him politically? Good. Let me make one point clear. Before today, before it was proved by CSU that this certificate did not originate from them, which is the condition to prove that a certificate is forged, I have never used this language in any forum or any medium. So I say only the things that have been proved. Chicago State University said, this certificate is not from us. And as a lawyer, that is what the court said you need to prove that a certificate is forged. So that's by the way. So if anybody feels that I am not in order, let the person sue me for defamation. But I'm entitled to my freedom of thought. I'm entitled to freedom to express it the way I believe in it. So that's by the way. Then secondly, the way forward is that if the Supreme Court or any other court now says that Nigeria is a nation of forgers, then they should take responsibility for giving Nigeria that name. The way forward is that it will set a bad precedent in Nigeria. So the way forward is that every Nigerian should do the right thing and ensure that the law is respected. The way forward is to uphold the express provision of Section 137.1J that if you have submitted a forged certificate to INEC, you are not qualified to be president. That is the way forward. Recall that in 1999, when 
Bola Tinubu contested as a governor. He deposed to an affidavit. And he mentioned four things in that affidavit. His NYSE certificate, his, the primary school he purportedly attended, the secondary school he attended, he said he attended the University of Chicago. All four of them false, including his date of birth. Fake, not in existence. Please Mr. help me and give me the vocabulary that I will use to qualify such a person so that you would not say I'm using my own words. Mr. Kenneth Okonkwo.